This video shows how to analyze a JSON result from a website or for, from a web API. So uh, in this case, I'm testing some any response from a website. So this is a default website which starts like this uh, success and then response. And then I have a, a value, an array like this one um, with results and in WPF we do it like this I go here to my JSON version um, where is it JSON 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 uh, give me a second here's my JSON that's my JSON version and now we start it we go into this result. I start downloading that stuff. I say, okay, start. And that's my example. I go into the event and I say, okay, download that stuff. And when we, when I download that result uh, from a HTTP by a HTTP client or a web request. Then I get a string. That's the same string which which we see there. That's the string. And now we do the following um, in WPF. On by default, you, I use Windows Data JSON. That's the default uh, which is inside the namespaces from Microsoft. Um, and then we go like this one we say okay take this string and uh, move it into a JSON object so I have now a JSON object that's a little bit different so we have here two values and I say okay take this JSON object um, simply take the second value so in this case we say uh, we have here the JSON download and there are two values that's the first value and that's the second value and the second value has the name response that's the name response so I say take the download that's the first one and by the name in the uh, name of the array the uh, key and then I get a value okay f10 and now I take from this response from this value the um, now we have in, inside here a big block which is always ID and then name and that's a key pairing key value pairing and then I say transform it to an array so we have JSON object JSON value JSON array and now I go step through each uh, line in this array we have here the array, array, array. Now that's the array, and there's a bunch of values in there. Value, uh, the I, the, the records, first one, second one, and inside there. Now when I go through this, take a row out of this, so I have the first row, and I say, okay, give me the first object from there, and there by dot get string it's not the same as string and now when we go there you see it. now here is the result and there's the result what's inside written there so you will find the code on my website either on code ready type in there json as w in wpf or in my codoku.com it's the same result and you may take the code from there.